DC came correct. What up, it's your boy, the Truth Thirty One. Hit like, subscribe, all that DC good stuff. And bruh, I'm excited. Are you excited? I don't think you're excited enough. DC is dropping those bombs, bruh. Oh, I cannot wait. DC fandom is going to be an amazing event. And they just dropped the full schedule. DC fandom is up and running right now. So if you're a fan, go to the website, schedule your appointments like you're at a fucking doctor's appointment. And get ready to see all these amazing panels that DC is about to drop on us. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be a great day. Saturday, bro, I don't think I'm I'm even going to fucking leave my seat. I'm going to fucking sit here with my monster energy drinks, my fucking gummy bears. And I'm just going to drool all over my fucking iPad and just watch whatever's going to drop. It's going to be amazing. And in addition to closer looks at Wonder Woman 1984... And the multiverse spanning Michael Keaton co-starring The Flash. Uh-oh, so they're basically confirming that Michael Keaton is going to be in The Flash? Confirmation? Interesting. Fans who tune in will also get to find out more about WB outings like James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, of course. James Wan's Aquaman sequel. Oh, baby. Hopefully we get a fucking title on that shit. And Matt Reeves, The Batman. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Matt Reeves, The Batman, is going to be glorious. Put it all over my face, neck, and chest, bruh. A must-see as Reeves joins the host, Aisha Tyler, my girl, to talk it up and treat fans to some new footage. Oh! Which makes sense as they got seven weeks in the can, another 11 weeks of production. Go personally, we're hoping to see some Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon. I'm all for that. Give it to me, baby. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Wright is an amazing actor, and he's going to deliver the goods on James Gordon. And also, we got some nice little, cute little emojis. Not for me, but, you know, if you have a daughter or a son who's little, then this is all for them. But the, the, obviously, supporting, again, AT&T, Warner Media, supporting DC, putting that shit out in Front Street. Like, yo... DC is where it's at. So we got our own twin emojis with Rob and the T Titans. Obviously, the Wonder Woman 84, Aquaman, Flash, all that good stuff. So it's really cool shit. Go to, uh, if you're going to tweet, tweet that shit out right now. Now, the full schedule 1 p.m., Wonder Woman 1984, 1 30, Montreal game announcement, new Batman game from Montreal Studios, who made the underrated Batman Arkham Origins. 2.45, The Flash movie. 3 o'clock, The Suicide Squad 2. 10-minute panel for The Flash. So you know they don't got shit to show. <laughs> they don't got shit to show on that. Which makes sense because they haven't filmed anything. 5 p.m., Surprise DC Comics panel. Man of Steel 2. Woo! 5.45, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Give it to me, baby. Raw. No condom. 6 o'clock, Black Adam and Surprise. Oh, baby. 6.45, title to be announced, new movie, Satana, Raven movie, I hope not, hopefully it's fucking Superman, uh, I don't wanna, like I, like, I would be excited for Zatanna, but fucking Superman, bro, 6.45, title to be announced, new movie, 7 o'clock, Aquaman, probably, probably we'll get a title reveal, Jason Momoa still undetermined if he's gonna show up or not, 7.15, a free screening of Superman, Man of Tomorrow. So if, you want, so if you're interested in seeing that movie, go check it out. It's free, which is awesome. Uh, 7.30, Shazam. I don't know what they're going to show. Probably tease Black Adam is going to be in that movie, maybe. Maybe uh, Mr. Mind and Savannah and all that good stuff. Uh, 8 o'clock, Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League video game. Oh, my God. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Is it deep inside? Does it feel good? I know it feels good because Rocksteady always is gentle with us. And Rocksteady is going to give us the goods. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, where's my lotion? At 8.30, you know it's time. Matt Reeves is going to pull down his pants and just plop, drop his big piece. And that big piece is attached to Robert Pattinson, who's going to be one of the best Batmans of all time. And we're going to get some Batman footage. Oh, cannot wait. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Obviously, we're going to get some footage. Probably Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. Paul Dano as the Riddler, our first looks. And he's also said that it's gonna, he's going to also bring, I think he's also um, hosting the panel. He's going to bring a little surprise. Huh, huh, huh. What what's that surprise? Maybe maybe he's he's gonna announce another villain? Two-Face, perhaps? 
interesting. Yo, would it be crazy if he fucking announces the new Joker and it's fucking Joaquin Phoenix? Bruh. Bruh. If Matt Reeves announces Wa- Joaquin Phoenix is going to be Robert Pattinson's Joker, the whole fucking internet is going to shut down. The whole world is shutting down. We're all going to cream our pants. We're, we're all going to look like that fucking South Park meme where fucking jizz is, is all over our body. But like, uh, that's going to be me. That's going to be me fucking passed out from hearing that news. <laughs> like, I'm just going to pass out like, uh, uh, uh. I'm going to sound like fucking Beavis and Butthead. From all this amazing news, it's going to be a great event. So that's it for now. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more DCEU goodness coming at you and dropping those truth bombs because DC is feeding us and Marvel ain't feeding you shit. Hey, Marvel fanboys, how do you feel right now? You feel sad? You feel depressed? You feel alone? Sucks to be you. And it's awesome to be a great DC fan. Ah, oh, DC fans, we have been rewarded and we will... Bask in the glory of oh, DC goodness. Oh, oh. DC is the best. And that is the truth. Ooh, peace.